So in this media, we are going to learn about the Fremo submerged cargo pump. Okay, so uh, this is very important and you find it on uh, product tanker. We have already covered COPT. Now in this question, all of your uh, doubts related to Fremo system will get covered. Okay, going to see construction aspect as well. This is a Fremo pump that is submerged. This is centrifugal pump and as well as submerged pump. Okay has built-in hydraulic motor see we see the parts which are very important these are the pressure transmitters spe speed uh, speed torque control valve okay stc this is also important coffer dam purging coffer dam check pipe okay hydraulic pipe impeller volute casing all these parts you can see this is suction well okay now Now it has the ability to pump any type of liquid cargo no matter how sensitive or viscous. The Fremo cargo pump is a vertical single stage centrifugal pump powered by a hydraulic motor for safe and efficient operation. Okay. Made in stainless steel. It is made up of stainless steel. Easy to clean surface. Featuring a limited number of flange for a superior ability to pump any liquid. Robust construction made to efficiently empty any cargo tank containing the most heavy viscous or aggressive cargo so its advantage is that it can pump any amount of cargo the the hydraulic drive line designed for a safe and reliable pumping and final stripping of the most volatile or dangerous cargoes carried in bulk no risk of any uh, build up of heat due to fail safe design where the pump motor and bearings are constantly lubricated and cooled by hydraulic oil driving medium okay when we talk about load any type of cargo the fremo cargo pump can handle any type of cargo one voice it may be a petroleum product next voice can be an acid or something heated cooled volatile or viscous now there is an efficient switch between different cargoes cargo pumping system may be able to discharge drain and clean the cargo tanks in an efficient manner to make the vessel ready to receive any new cargo now components are there impeller volute casing Okay, Fremo is also a submersible pump. The pump is fitted inside the cargo tank and will be submerged in the liquid. Why it is known as submersible pump? Because it is submerged in the liquid. Now, when we talk about its component in detail, hydraulic motor. Now, for impeller need to rotate, but impeller not rotate on its own. It needs a source of energy, which is known as the prime mover. In steep turbines, centrifugal pump, this energy is provided by steam as we discussed COPT mein mein kya hota tha? Wo steam hota tha. for electric pump electric motor provides energy for rotating in Fremo system Fremo system mein kya hota? this energy is provided by hydraulic motor using the pressurized hydraulic fuel energy can uh, it can only be converted to one form to another now hydraulic motor converts pressure energy of high hydraulic oil pressure to rotational energy to rotate the impeller now we go down and we see this is the hydraulic motor and the uh, systematic uh, description you can see okay this is the displacement and that is taking place torque speed and power high speed oil enters the motor it rotates the shaft and low pressure oil leaves the motor with the high that pressure that uh, shaft is rotated in remote system you will not be able to see the hydraulic motor as it is placed in the outer casing because it is placed in the outer casing And remember, this is also an advantage that there is no serviceable part in Fremo hydraulic system. When we talk about power packs, a hydraulic motor co rotate karne ke liye, no, impeller, there need to be high pressure of hydraulic oil. Power packs supply the high pressure hydraulic oil to the Fremo hydraulic motor. Power packs are either installed in the forecastle store or in the engine room of the ship. In my ship, it was in the engine room. So these are installed there. Power six system consists of a hydraulic oil tank to draw the oil from. Usme oil hoti hai, oil usse draw karte hai. Usme kuch alarms bhi lage hote hai, low level ke temperature ka. High pressure pump to take the suction from the hydraulic tank and pump this oil into the hydraulic pipeline on deck. Now, electric motor to run the high pressure pump. There are electric motor which is used to run the hydro. Uh, now you see what we are discussing about. This is the power pack that we discussed about. This is the hydraulic oil tank. It is drawing in oil from here, and then with this power pack, it is going and supplying to the connection. Okay. And now again, you see there is a return line which is coming again back to the hydraulic oil tank. Now this line uh, oil that is going, this is high pressure, and then which is coming back, it is a 
low pressure now these are cargo pump which are uh, submerged and this is stc which we are discussing about okay which we which i shown you in the diagram now it is important that hydraulic oil tank always have sufficient oil for high pressure pump if it has less no oil the pump will get damaged less or no oil can be two reason no oil in the tank close suction valve to the power pack there are two safeguards in the framo system to ensure this okay how ensured close suction line trip Suc close suction line trip because if there is no oil that will uh, create problem and then again we have low oil level trip as we said close suction valve trip if the suction valve for the high pressure pump is closed the power pack will trip this ensures that the suction valve of the pump to take suction from the hydraulic tank is not inadvertently closed so there is a alarm for this as well the alarm for the trip will display in the cargo control room as well as engine control room in ccr also this alarm is present and in engine room also this alarm is present now see here these are the alarms suction line suction line alarms okay these are the alarms that is there there is a sensor arrangement for suction valve which senses if the suction valve is fully open in old framo system this could be a manual valve with its handle touching the sensor if the suction valve is even slight close it loses the touch of the sensor and trip is activated in new system the valve is not a manual valve in this case there is a proximity sensor fitted well even if the valve is little amount of it is closed then also it will not take the uh, sensor will not touch and it will happen this okay so low oil trip the power pack can lose suction if there is not sufficient oil in oil in the hydraulic tank for uh, this region when the oil level in the hydraulic tank goes below minimum level the power pack will trip okay this happens and the power pack trips the oil in the hydraulic tank is kept just above the alarm level this ensures that any leakage in the line will be immediately detected without the loss of the much of the hydraulic oil there are two alarms for low level low level alarm and low low level alarm there are two alarms at low level and low low level we're discussing about now you see oil level low low this is the alarm and oil level low this is shut down trip these are the trips alarm that is there these are the only alarms okay obviously because when it becomes low low it is a critical situation when the level is at low level an alarm will activate and will be displayed in the ccr and see if the alarm further drops low low the hydraulic oil power pack will trip if the oil level trip is activated the reason for low level must be investigated and we are doing it that we are refilling the tank with a standby tank or spare drum whichever is available okay so these are the different coffer dam and purging routine this is very important why coffer dam is provided and why we are doing this purging routine now it is run by hydraulic motor hydraulic motor gets the pressure hydraulic oil from the power pack now when we talk about the inter internal part of the uh, framo pump then you see stripping valve top plate resilient mounting speed torque this is important St speed torque control valve okay coffer dam purging you see here this is coffer dam purging coffer dam check pipe okay these are going to see that's why i'm showing you the part this is the hydraulic motor that we're talking about and then we have anti rotation brakes okay that we're going the red section in the high pressure hydraulic oil going into the hydraulic motor yellow part is the hydraulic oil return both these pipes are uh, concentric in each other line in the below picture now you see here this is this you see the hydraulic high pressure pipe is located inside the low pressure return oil pipe the entire hydraulic section is separated from the cargo by a coffer dam ventilated to the atmosphere so this is a this is this is the coffer dam that we were discussing about this pump is inside the cargo tank and there are two liquids hydraulic oil and cargo that should not come in contact with each other because there is a hydraulic oil and there is a cargo oil so there should not be uh, mixing of each other if the hydraulic oil this is important please mind it if the hydraulic oil leaks into the cargo cargo can damage if the cargo goes into the hydraulic oil the hydraulic system will damage so both the situation is very not desirable now so there must be something which which is supposed to prevent this this is the hydraulic seal that prevents hydraulic oil leakage to the cargo side and there is a cargo seal hydraulic seal and cargo seal cargo leakage cargo seal is stopping hydraulic leakage hydraulic oil is leaking okay simple same with the same term the name is given 
but seal can leak overnight right so if you have this seal are leaking how would you know this is exactly the purpose of coffer dam so coffer dam white is provided to detect the leak so that this mixing cannot be done you can think of coffer dam as a steel cup with cargo steel at the bottom any hydraulic oil or cargo leakage will collect in the coffer dam so this is for basically coffer dam is what it's a empty and a void space okay and there is a difference between even coffer dam and void space you can watch those now this is air inlet and this is coffer dam okay this is the cargo seal that we were discussing about it is important to know if the coffer dam is empty or not and that is done by purging the coffer dam so we are doing the purging as i show you showed you we introduce air or nitrogen in the coffer dam and check the outlet of the purging line so there is a purging line which is given and we are checking the outlet through the purging line okay now see here coffer dam purging connection so this is the purging connection purging medium supply so here we are purging medium we are supplying now this is the relief valve that is provided because in the purging line also there can be a uh, which is which is very high this is exhaust gas line container to collect the leakage if there is any leakage it, it is this is the container which will connect because liquid here it will come it will go down only here now this is the coffer dam that is provided okay this way it is going going and then it is return line okay if we just get the air in the outlet of the purging line the coffer dam is empty so no leakage of hydraulic oil or cargo and both the seals are intact if we get cargo in the coffer dam it indicates that the cargo seal of the primo pump is leaking if we get hydraulic oil in the coffer dam it indicates the hydraulic oil seal of the primo pump is leaking simply if we get hydraulic oil means hydraulic oil seal is leaking if we get cargo means cargo cargo seal of the primo pump is leaking if we get mixture of hydraulic oil and cargo both the seal are leaking if any seal is leaking it need to be replaced with new seal hmm. now we uh, purging routine has to be carried out those so these are the sample uh, checks we are there this is the tank number type of cargo date of purging okay purging routine from famo system for submerged cargo okay so this is the sample uh, sheet we have provided here we must keep history of purging record for all various voyages for some cargoes because cargo we are carrying it is sensitive so we know because in case of any discrepancy if while unloading the cargo at port so there can be a case and complaint and we need to able to tell them that we had purged for some car for investigation purpose for some cargoes we are supposed to not do the coffer dam purging there may be toxic cargo such as toluene and Diso, uh, diso cyanide cyanide or solidifying cargo such as palm oil in these cases we need to fill the coffer dam with some liquid dop in case of loading tdi so that coffer dam is not blocked with cargo okay so this is the case we are doing stc valve that we are discussing about earlier it was known as flow control valve now we have the now we have the pump and the hydraulic system to run the pump now how hum iska speed kaise vary karenge okay able to run the pump at different speed to achieve this we we should be able to control the flow of the hydraulic oil to the hydraulic motor of the fano pump this is this is because more the flow of pressurized oil to the hydraulic motor more speed the impeller rotates okay now this is exactly what speed torque controller does st is fitted on top plate of the pump on main deck the hydraulic oil inlet pass through the stc now i have shown you in the diagram so you can also now this is the function of stc that we were discussing about okay you see here stc valve this is the stc valve adapter plate ball valve ball cock valve is provided non return valve is there this is the spool piece that this is the spool piece on which this stc valve is mounted and there we have a adapter plate okay so this is the line and this is the return line this is the high pressure line and this is the yellow one is the return line and there is a non return valve and there is a valve ball valve now stc of the pump control the speed of the pump by allowing only the required amount of hydraulic oil to pass through the hydraulic motor so hydraulic uh, hydraulic oil is going so we are controlling the amount of hydraulic oil through the stc valve which is ultimately controlling the speed of the pump stc also prevents the pump to over speed by controlling the amount of oil to the hydraulic motor of the pump it is also a safety device which is controlling the over speeding there are two ways to control the speed of the pump through stc from the local control on the stc from the cargo control room local control valve on stc when talk about with local control valve we can control the speed 
of the pump locally from the pump itself this becomes handy during stripping of the tanks because fremo is also used for stripping so we are using it at the time of stripping local control local control valve kind of knob located on the stc when we close the knob by turning clockwise the stc passes the oil to the pump so this is the knob this is the local control by by this on knob only we are controlling the amount of oil going into it okay and then we are ultimately controlling the speed of it this is the local map. when we open the knob by turning anti clockwise the stc bypass all the oil and nothing goes into the hydraulic uh, pump pump stops or do not run in this case by partially closing the local control valve we can adjust the speed of the pump starting the from uh, cargo room speed of the pump or we can say operation of stc can also be controlled from the cargo control room now from ccr also we are doing we do this by lever provided in the cargo control room so there is a lever which is provided in the cargo control room so this is the lever that we were talking about each pump has a reader that connects the stc of that pump by hydraulic control line so this lever is controlling the speed of it okay and we push the lever up to start the pump a signal in the form of hydraulic control line pressure goes to the stc stc then releases the amount of oil to the hydraulic motor which will be corresponding to the amount to the lever lifted okay so it is in proportion that is there now and talk here is the actual photo of the stc and the pump stacks on deck so this is the actual photo that you can see ground line uh, for the ccr so this line is going for the ccr local control valve is this this is the spool piece that we can rotate and control the speed this is the stc that the block that we were discussing about this is going to the ccr so same way this line with this line only from the ccr we are controlling these are the hydraulic lines that is there okay now remote start and local start both the remote start from ccr and the local start from the pump location are interconnected we we cannot start the pump from the local control if the pump lever is not pushed up from the ccr same goes other way round reverse also is true if the local control knob is in open position the pump will not work even when the pump lever is operated from ccr so for the pump to operate stc need to have the signal from both from local control valve as well as remote lever in the ccr if we need to start the pump from the local control we can open the we open the local control valve by rotating it anti clockwise we push the lever up from the ccr we operate the pump locally by slowly closing the local control valve if we have to start the pump from the ccr we close the local control valve by rotating it clockwise from ccr we push the lever up to start the start the pump feed pumps when we talk about feed pumps for the fremo system to work efficiently the hydraulic oil used in the system need to be absolute good condition okay there are few things that can degrade the hydraulic oil quantity moisture increase due to hydraulic hydraulic lines being in vacuum due to temperature variation so moisture in any case it is very bad air that can cause vibration forcing of the oil small particles particles are also very helpful feed pump takes care of all these issues here is how feed pump always keeps on running 365 days in year 24 hours a day feed pump maintains positive pressure in the line and hydraulic system it continuously recirculate the oil through entire hydraulic oil system so the mo the problem of moisture uh, moisture air okay and particles are avoided by running the feed pump continuously usually pressure of more than 5 bar is maintained in the system even when the system is not in use now when the system is always under positive pressure the chances of moisture ingress are minimum air if any is auto released to the hydraulic tank while recirculation of course if air is still sus suspected in the system there is an air purging arrangement in the fremo which we have already seen there is a purging arrangement any particle in the system are filtered while feed pump runs and the hydraulic oil in the recirculation mode this is because the recirculated oil is made to pass through the filter now recirculation of hydraulic oil through feed pump also avoids oil temperature variations at different parts of the hydraulic system there is another function that the feed pump serves so apart from creating air moisture and particle it helps in keeping the feed pressure of the suction side of the main hydraulic pump this means that when high pressure power pack pumps are taking suction from the hydraulic tank feed pump ensure that there is no negative pressure on the suction side because ultimately high pressure pump when starts automatically they'll try to take it okay one of the feed pump must running when the power packs are not in operation if the feed pump stops the protection pressure low alarm will be initiated protection uh, this alarm comes down okay 
protection pressure low alarm this is when the feed pump stops when starting the first main power pack two feed pumps will automatically start before the power pack is started so because it is so that it can sufficiently provide this is called high capacity mode of the feed pump this is to keep the feed pressure on the suction side of the main hydraulic pump now let us say that one of the feed pump stops while running in high capacity mode and the power packs are running in this case the third feed pump will start so you must have seen there are three part feed pumps which providing if running signal for the third feed pump is not obtained within three seconds the feed pressure low alarm will be initiated and the power pack will shut down so these are additional safeties that are provided so this is a shutdown alarm that we have seen feed pressure low because if third feed pump doesn't start then it happens now when we talk about cooling and heating system hydraulic oil used in a hydraulic system has an optimum temperature range for use this is because higher temperature can damage the seal and other components and also it accelerate the degradation of oil hydraulic oil used in the frame system is no exception depending upon the surrounding temperature the hydraulic oil used in the frame may be below or above this temperature range now if if it is above the optimum range the oil will not be cooling and if it is if it is below the optimum range it would need heating okay now operation temperature of frame system when we talk about operation range is this much which is which is from 30 to 50 50 to 53 degree celsius okay alarm temperature 60 degree See, above 60 degree alarm comes normal operating range 20 to 60 degree celsius limited operation system to be heated hydraulic pressure 100 bar limited operation system to be heated hydraulic pressure 60 bar even if the surrounding temperature is within the optimum range the oil temperature will increase during operation if the surrounding temperature is below 20 degree we need to open the heating and venting valve for the power pack running when the oil temperature is well within the operating range other power packs can be started with it okay same goes for when surrounding temperature is higher the hydraulic oil is made to pass through the oil cooler to cool the oil before delivery to the deck the cooling water inlet valve is automatically controlled it will open at hydraulic oil temperature above 50 degree and will close when the temperature decreases to below 30 degree the high oil temperature alarm will activate if the oil temperature is above 60 degree okay if the oil temperature is above 60 degree when oil temperature is 70 the power pack will trip so if the temperature is written uh, really going high the power pack will trip okay i hope it is clear for you now when we talk about emergency stop one final thing among many other the frame pump need to know about the emergency stop for the pump there are push buttons installed at different location this is the emergency stop cargo control room manifold port side so these are the places that these emergency stop is provided manifold starboard side at power pack station location also at local station also we need to have this on each ship there could be few locations for emergency stop for hydraulic system we must know all these three locations country submersible pumps on board tankers if the is the first choice for the ship owners because of various advantages these offer this is particularly the case with chemical uh, and product medium range and long range tankers Framo is leader among the submersible pump fitted on port tankers for anyone working on tanker this may this makes thorough knowledge of the Framo system a necessity so we need to have a thorough knowledge of it now when we summarize with about the design features vertical single stage single uh, suction impeller axially balanced robust hydraulic drive with short and stiff uh, drive shaft fail safe design lubrication and cooling of the pump of the hydraulic driving oil medium pump material stainless steel concentric hydraulic pipes for maximum safety coffer dam ventilated to atmosphere protecting the entire pump okay mechanical seal against hydraulic oil that we have seen cargo seal and hydraulic seal double lip seal against cargoes only exposed to static pressure anti-rotation bricks leading to pump smooth pump exterior self draining and easy to clean performance when we talk about the Fremo pump is easy to operate the hydraulic drives for a stepless capacity through the STC through the STC we are doing it the cargo pump can pump any any liquid we have seen it already it is impossible to overload or overspeed the pump the STC valve automatically regulates hydraulic oil pressure and flow to the hydraulic motor now condition based maintenance that we are supposed to do seal monitoring is performed from the cargo pump top plate by purging the coffer dam replacement of wear and tear parts is easily done from inside the tank without interfering with the hydraulic section so because this is important 
to no and cater okay because of this we are doing it and we are saying it okay so i hope in this video it is clear for you that what is what is a uh, your hydraulic pump uh, are there what are uh, sorry what is a fremo system what is the drive unit what is the power pack why we are uh, running the feed uh, feed pump constantly if what if one feed pump uh, why two feed pump is running what is the significance of feed pump how we are starting the fremo feed pump what are the alarms what are the trips what why cooling system is provided all these things we have seen why it is known as submersible pump why it is a uh, it is a centrifugal pump so all these things we have seen it is self explanatory my idea was to bring the content at one place so it is you can understand at your own thank you so much all the very best